Hello and welcome back to the midweek show as we take on Walsall FC at three o'clock at the JobSurf Community Stadium. We have plenty coming up for you on the show, including uh, Jaden's uh, interview as he hopes to make his 50th appearance for the club in all competitions this afternoon. But before we hear from Jaden, let's hear what Danny Cowley had to say before the match. Danny, obvious frustration and disappointment about the postponement, but a chance for you and your staff maybe to get out to games and, and watch future opposition. Yeah, I think so, Dave. I think we, you know, we were naturally disappointed, frustrated that the game was called off. Um, for us, it's always to try to see the positive in it in every situation um, and control what we can control. And yeah, as soon as we knew that the game was off, um, the boys came in and they trained. Um, and that's given us some, some extra preparation going into the Walsall game. It also allowed our staff to get out and watch future opposition. I think Nicky and I got out and watched Crawley and Notts County. Um, all the staff were out watching games ultimately, which was, which was good because obviously we have 11 games now in a 42-day period. Um, so it's good for us to, to be aware of, of the opponent. And uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, the game being called off was, frustra was frustrating. It certainly wasn't for the want of trying. You know, everybody was out over the weekend and on Monday. Um, you know, I've worked at a number of clubs. Very rarely do you see the sporting director, um, head of commercial, stadium manager, yourself. The media guys, all the co all the commercial de department, the ticket office, um, head of academy, even even the owner and his family, everybody on the pitch, everybody out trying to trying to help. You know, there, there's a there's a huge will here. Um, unfortunately, the the facts are that we've had the wettest February pretty much in history in this part of the world. You know, even on Tuesday when the game was called off, we had we had torrential rain for most of the day and. At the moment, the pitch can't cope with it, and that's just just where it is. And you know, we're we're trying to do all we can to try to find solutions. Um, and I think what's really important is that we we all suck up the frustration and disappointment, and we we ultimately use that to fuel us. Yeah. And you mentioned eleven games to go there. Is it important to not think of it as eleven games just to concept for the players? just to concentrate on the next one, which is obviously Walsall on Saturday. What we just see is such an exciting period. We have 42 days, we have 11 games um, to change the course of our lives. And that's what it is, isn't it? Because ultimately, um, we know what's at stake, we know how important it is, and we're going we're gonna to embrace it and we're going to attack it. And yeah, for us, I think that you versus yourself mentality, you know, you can easily be weak and look at other results and worry about what's going on, going on around you. But I, I think for us, you know, and we, of course we're aware of the results and Tuesday some of the teams around us won. And you know what, for, for me, I woke up Wednesday thinking, oh, OK, the stakes have just got a bit higher, but, but so are the rewards. Um, because the reward of, of achieving what we want to this season, um, will be, it will be an even better feeling when we, when we do. Um, so yeah, I think I think for us just to keep being the optimist, keep being positive, keep um, keep embracing the, the 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 challenge in front of us, and uh, it's a brilliant challenge. It's going to require everybody, um, everybody that has Colchester in their heart, um, everybody that, that that loves the football club. We have to come together now. Um, we have to stick together and we have to fight together. And I know that. If we do that, and absolutely, that starts with, with myself, Nikki, the staff and the players. We have to give you something to, 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 to fight for. Um, but to come together. Um, and, and if we do that, then, you know, these 11 games, these 42 days, seven of them are at home. And how good will it be for us to, in that, in that really short period, to, to come together? To, um, to connect and to, to, to find a way. I mean, one, that, one that starts straight away against the Walsall side that have got plenty to fight for them, themselves at the other end of the table. Yeah, absolutely. Nicky and I watched them last week, uh, Doncaster. Uh, they, they played at home, Walsall. They were, they were a good team. I think a lot to respect. Playing a 5-3-2 formation. Had a really good January. They've formed since then. They're right at the top of the form guide. Um, I think that they're a, they're a team that ask a lot of questions of you defensively. Um, they can play forward quite quickly. They get lots of crosses in the box. They get good numbers in the box. They can also score from set pieces. 
um, and, and they, they carry threat in that, in that moment as well. Um, but for us, I think we've had the, the full week on the training pitch. We've had a couple of extra days preparing for this game. I think we're a very, it's very early in our development as a group, so every training session can be vital to us at the moment. Um, while we keep trying to trying to connect the players, develop the understanding, um, and develop the relationships within the team, so it's been a it's been a good week. But now we have to um, turn that good week into a performance on Saturday, and you know we go back to last Saturday and we dominated the ball and dominated territory, but we didn't carry enough goal threat. Um, so for us this week to look at ways for us to to, to improve that, I think has been has been has been been really important, and also defensively. You know, you look at our, our numbers statistically. We're we're right at the top of the division, but we now have to turn that into clean sheets as well. And uh, yeah, for us to be to be ruthless at both ends of the pitch, I think it's going to be vital in, in getting the, the 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 outcomes that we all want. Yeah. And the Barrow game, you had Harry and Jaden back in, involved. Another week on the training ground will be good for them. You know, and making sure they're stronger than they were even before then. And at the other end, Zach Mitchell and uh, Figra Keller aren't too far away either. No, yeah, we've got really good news in terms of in terms of the injury situation. Um, I suppose the only the only negative is is Manny, um, who um, picked up the injury against Barrow. So now he, he just recovered after an eight week injury with a with a right knee with the right knee and a medial ligament injury and now he's done exactly the same on the left knee so we're waiting on a specialist to decide what happens next um, we're hoping that it won't need surgery um, but we will have more understanding of the time frame once he sees the the, the, the specialist next week on the positives um, I think we have Samson back which was just great news um, so positive he's trained all week just brings such personality such character such such good energy which I love. Um, Kells and Zach are both now back fit and training, um, and hopefully, hopefully we'll go into full training next week, which will again will give us will give us lots more options, which is which is so, so important to the group with so many games coming coming thick and fast. Uh, Colin Wilkinson as well is back, and yeah, like you alluded to, the likes of Awara now I played last Friday, did really well last Friday against Bristol City. He's had another week on the training ground. Febs, Harry Anderson have had more rhythm as well. So so lots of positives on that front. And yeah, for us, always to be the optimist, always to see the best in the situation. It's great to hear from Danny. And you can head over to our website and our social media channels to see uh, what lineup he selected for this afternoon's game. Now, we've played Walsall many times in the past, exactly 75 times, and there's been some pretty tense encounters. Now, let's go back all the way to 2015, uh, when it was the highest scoring affair between the clubs to date.
plenty of goals in that game and let's hope for an equally as exciting clash but this time a use victory uh, now, someone who will be hoping to get his name on the score sheet this afternoon is Jaden Fevrier. He will potentially be making his 50th appearance for the club in all competitions. And here's what he had to say before the game. Jaden, we spoke to Danny uh, about the frustrations about missing the game on Tuesday through postponement. What's it like for a player when you do all that preparation and then the game gets called off? Yeah, obviously it feels like an opportunity you missed, you know, a chance to win some points and climb up the table a little bit, get out of the position that we're in. But it's also an opportunity, you know, we're going to have games coming thick and fast so we can like pick up on momentum if we win a few and go, hopefully go on the run. And then, of course, there's the question, your game's called off. And then it's, do you ignore everything else that's gone on Tuesday or do you keep an eye on things and see the results? No, obviously we're not going to be naive. We know that we're in a position and we kind of have to watch the other teams. but. If you look at the table, we have two games in hand, so it's, it's in our hands, it's our destiny. So we just have to do it right on and off the training pitch and the match pitch to um, yeah, win some points and get out of it. Yeah, and on a personal level, you must have been pleased. Short time out with injury, but you, you come back and you're involved at Barrow and you, you made a good impression when you came on. Yeah, I think um, throughout the whole season, my goals were to make an impact and I was gutted to miss the Salford game. I thought like I could have affected that. Um, but yeah, it was good to be back against Barrow and then for that 30 minutes spot, you can see what I'm about and hopefully play again on the weekend and help the team win. I don't know if you know that, but if, if you do get on the pitch, uh, it'll be your 50th appearance uh, for the club in all competitions. Wow. Has that come a little bit quicker than you thought it might have done? Um, yeah, I would say, you know, last year I only had about 11 or 12 and this season my goal is to establish myself as a starter and I think I've done that. So yeah, I'm really proud to hopefully make my 50th appearance on um, Saturday and yeah, it's a great achievement for me. Yeah, you, you're a young player but you've been involved in, in and around the first team pretty much all season. You must have been pleased with that progress you've made alongside much more senior players than you. Yeah, I think it's good to learn from the players around me. You know, some of them have played in the championship in League One, they won promotion, so it's good to learn from their experiences and hopefully help my career and my future career. And We've spoken to the players over the last few weeks especially, but they all seem really together as a group and a squad and, and really focused on attacking these last uh, uh, 11 games it is of the season. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing for us uh, towards the end of the season, you know, staying together because um, times are getting tough and I think it's easy to just um, be selfish and be for ourselves, but I think if we put the team first, we can stay together and we can get some points together. Yeah, and seven of those 11 games are going to be at home. Important that we can make things happen on the pitch to, to so get the crowd excited so they're backing us 100% as well. Yeah, I think it's good that most of our games are at home. You know, we have our home fans behind us and it's our pitch, so we don't want anyone to come to our pitch and walk all over us. You know, it's our castle, we have to defend it. So um, I think it's good that most of the games are at home and yeah, hopefully the fans can get behind us and we can put in some good performances and get a win, get some wins. It's great to hear from Jaden there. And just a reminder before I let you go uh, that you can have a look at the team that Danny Cowley has select uh, selected for today's fixture on our website and on our social media channels. Right, now it's time to get out there, take your seat, enjoy the game and cheer on the boys as they fight for massive three points.